Now I am honored to introduce this morning's keynote. Our guest speaker was recently named one of the top 100 best motivational speakers today. Always the pilot did a very good job communicating. He said this, he said, um, you know, he said, we've hit some birds. We're, I like what he said. He said, we're gonna be okay, but we're going to turn around for safety purposes and we're going to um, uh, do what is known as an emergency landing. And as soon as he said, flight attendants, prepare for emergency landing. Even just saying that right now, my heart is beating. Whew, that was tough. You know, and, and I'm like, I gotta go, what is my happy place? We have inventories of great stories in our life. And you know, when you think about the funny things, it might not change the outcome, but it can change you and how you deal with it. So I started thinking about some of the funny stories of my life, and I remember thinking about the time I pulled up to the gym to work out. I had a front row parking spot. I'm like, this is great, front row to the gym. <laughs> I don't have to walk far. <laughs> so, so I knocked my bottle of water over on the floor, and I went to reach down and grab it, and my shoulder hit the horn. <laughs> And I heard what sounded like a human scream. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh. And I lifted my head up really quick and right above the hood of the vehicle, I kid you not, is this little like grandma lady. Her coffee went in the air, it spilled all over the hood. I'm like, how does that happen? How do I honk the horn at the exact moment? You know, I almost sent her to the afterlife and I could, and I could tell, I could read her lips, and I was like, she's a potty mouth grandma. <laughs> I mean, she was letting me have it. And I didn't want to send her on her day and be like, have a good day. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> and uh, so I got out of the car, and, or the truck, and, I, and it, this was a very ADD thing. I put something out there, and I don't know why I said it. it was very impulsive. I said, I got out and I said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I thought you were my grandma. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I, my grandma's been deceased for over 10 years. <laughs> and why I felt like I needed to drag my passed on grandma into this experience, I have no idea. But my grandma had an amazing sense of humor and I know she was up above laughing. She was like, this is a good one. <laughs> and I walked around, I said, I am so sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you like that. And, uh, and she's just kind of unloading a little bit and then finally she calmed down and she looks at me and she goes, you always honk at your grandma that way? <laughs> And I came clean, I said, I, ma'am, I don't know why I said that. My grandma passed on 10 years ago. <laughs> and she looks at me and she smiles, she goes, what'd you do, honk at her? <laughs> and I don't know what happened, but we both, we both left that stressful situation and we went into a better place. We both looked at each other, made eye contact and started laughing hysterically. I'll never forget that moment because it was a feel-good moment. And she was laughing, and you could tell that this messed up her day, but also made it. And she grabbed my arm before we left, and she said, young man, it's okay, things happen. Just don't honk at any more grandmas today. <laughs> and I said, well, I, saw, I see you spilled your coffee. Can I go buy you another cup? And she goes, I don't know why, I'm awake now. <laughs> I gotta go home and change. Because <laughs> you spilled coffee? Not exactly, young man. <laughs> and you know, thinking about that story when I was in a crisis situation helped calm my nerves, my anxiety. I felt a sense of peace. And by the time I got through that story in my mind, the plane had landed safely. <laughs>